Don't ever underestimate someone who has lost everything. Because when they get back up, they will be unstoppable. You're in my domain. Hello, and welcome to RTD Inc., where I enlighten your mind and give humor to your soul. Today, we're going to give you some enlightenment of the mind, starting off with Lindsey Graham, one of the favorite Trumplican senators out there. It has basically said that if Trump gets indicted, that there will be rioting on the streets. Now, let's just get this straight here on this one. That wasn't a warning. That was actually a call to action to all the Trumpicans to basically start rioting if Trump gets indicted. If you haven't been paying attention, Trump has basically uh, got his mansion in Mar-a-Lago raided by the FBI because he had top secret documents that he should not have had. He kept saying presidential privilege, but he don't have that either because he's not president no more. They took over 300 different documents from his house and that also includes his passports, which they did return because they were not interested in his passports. But they should have because now they're saying he might be a big flight risk. But that's besides the point. They said they raided his house. They took over 300 top secret documents, including the names of all of our spies in other countries that are not our allies. Which, and he also took these documents to other countries with him that were also not on our allies list. So basically, Trump was selling out our spies. So if our people start dying over there, we know who to blame. That'd be Donald Trump for taking the secrets that he should have had in the first place. But in other news, we have Truth, Trump's Truth Social <laughs> has been barred from Google Play for, uh, what was it, content moderation concerns. So basically because they don't want to put up with uh, Trump's lies because that could get them in big, some big, big trouble. Which I don't blame them because Trump does lie a lot. But that's, that's a topic for a different story. And basically, um, it's just weird that he, he cries so much on his, on his true social. I mean, let's put it this way. Um, I have all this stuff written down here, so it actually helps me remind mind me. He has basically posted over 60 times on his uh, true social account. And his team has basically asked him, please stop doing that. Now, guess what he was he was uh, posting on to social? Well, to make your uh, answer easier, he posted on to social, Why are people so mean? Hmm. Well, Donald Trump, if you see this video, which I doubt you will, but if in case you do, why people are mean is because you're one of the worst presidents in history. I mean, you try to run this country like your own personal country, uh, company, and I'm sorry to say this, but none of these Americans work for you. You're a public servant. Well, should I say, we're a public servant. Now you're just a has-been. But when you were president, you worked for us. And that whole big tax cut that you actually gave the rich, what was it, 1.2 trillion tax cut that you gave them? I'm sure they're thanking you. But the rest of us, the poor and middle class, know that you're just an idiot. But that's besides the point. But why are we so mean? I'll let other people on here comment if they would. Or tell us, why do you like Trump? And why you don't like Trump? What he's done for you and what he hasn't done for you. As I, I put on a different uh, social media account, I did say Trump did do one very good thing when he was in president. He made it so it was a mandatory seven-year sentence for animal abuse. Well, I'm trying to figure out when he's going to get charged seven years for every one of the animals he abused, knowing as his Trump cult members. Because, come on, he's, he's scamming him for money. I mean, really? He took $250 million from these people, and they're still giving him money. They're still praising him like a god. In fact, I think I saw a posting somewhere from one of them that said that Jesus bows down to Trump. Excuse me, but no, he don't. Jesus is stuff with lightning bolt rip Trump's ass given half a chance because Trump is pretending to be a god when he's not. But different story. The main story we have today for you is basically um, it's very, very important. 
Mrs. Hippie basically has no drinking water. Well, to be more precise, Jackson, Mississippi has no drinking water. From what you can see from right up here, it tells you the whole story, but basically what happens is, is their water facilities have failed. And now the National Guard is handing out bottles of water, so if you're in Jackson, Mississippi, do not drink the water. It is not good for you. It actually might cause you harm. But this is also, I hate to say this, I mean, if you think about this right, this is what the Republicans want. Because they're trying to say that our social security is an entitlement, but yet we pay into it. But they want to take it away from us because it's an entitlement in their eyes. Social Security Administration and the Social Security receipt when you retire is basically a self-sustaining fund that you pay that everyone that pays taxes pays into. Everyone knows this. Why would that be an entitlement when you pay into this and it should pay you back at the proper time? So and then also saying how Medicare is also an entitlement. Well, sometimes it's not exactly an entitlement. It's more of a necessity. There are many people out there that can't work and can't be that are unable to afford proper health insurance and are senior citizens. Because that's who they were attacking on these ones. They're not attacking people like me that's still working and still paying my taxes. They're attacking the people out there that are on a fixed income, a.k.a. Social Security, and are dependent on Medicare because that's the only form of insurance they currently have. So they're not attacking. He said Trump once said that he they're not coming after him. They're coming after you. Well, what Trump doesn't realize is, is that's just the Republicans' motto. Republicans are coming after us. They're trying to take away our Social Security, our Medicare, and that's just not right. I mean, if you keep if you pay attention to most social media, you keep seeing the blue wave is coming, and then you see the Republicans saying the red wave is coming. Well, I don't need to know about the Republicans' red wave. They can go to the store and buy some feminine products and fix that themselves. But if you've been paying attention to what the Democrats are trying to do, I mean, if Independent ran... That'd be pretty sweet as well because independents are pretty cool because they see both sides and they see which one's a better which one's a lesser evil than the other one yes i grant you um bernie sanders the main independent right now basically he's basically living off what he makes off of a uh, being in congress whereas most other um politicians not just republicans but democrats as well are making millions and i do believe it says in the constitution somewhere or in the um the, con the um, congress's guidelines that congress shall not make any money outside being a member of the congress so in other words the senate and the house representatives shouldn't be making money while they're inside congress when they're inside the house of representatives or the senate and we all know that that's not happening because if you pay attention to the republicans republicans are getting like super super rich i mean super rich and that's all because of the NRA and other places along those lines that believe that, hey, everyone needs to have a gun. Well, you know what? Not everyone needs to have a gun because I do believe, what was it, Texas actually passed a law that says that you don't have to be 21 to buy a gun. That's just what we need. A 13-year-old kid walking down the street with a, with a uh, 9mm pistol shooting bullets. That is the perfect example of why we need stronger gun legislation. That should be national. That should override certain stupid laws put by the state. But um, basically, it's, it's becoming sad lately because you pay attention to Ted Cruz and he he's all for gun legislation, but yet, oh, not gun legislation, but, you know, make it so... He gets money from the NRA because he's Republican. But the funny thing is that Donald Trip, Trump has basically insulted his wife, like I think two or three times so far, and Ted Cruz still kisses his butt. I mean, how messed up is that? You're going you're gonna to kiss the man's butt that called your wife ugly? I mean, come on, really? If some dude, if some dude that was my friend called my wife ugly, like, dude, what do you say? Because it'll be the last mistake he makes because he'll lose a friend in the process. But I guess money is attracted to money, so as the world turns, 
what can I say? I'm sure you all remember that old that old soap opera as the world turns, but in certain cases, that's how it is nowadays. But before I make this video go longer than it is, I was give, I just wanted to hop on here and give you guys a quick update to let you know the mess that this country is in and the Republicans aren't making it any better. I'll give you another example before I go away. I think in Tennessee, they have a law there that basically says that you can marry a 13-year-old girl, which is... I don't know why you'd want to marry a 13-year-old girl. That does not make any sense. But I guess it's called the If She Bleeds, She Can Breed Law from Tennessee, which is this disgusting. But so basically, as you can see, every state that has a very massive Trump-supporting cult in it comes up with stupid laws. But until next time, this is Russ from RTD Inc. Wishing you guys a wonderful evening, and I'll speak to you again later.